another video this time it is the Malagasy Law Force. So for various reasons in 1 in 72nd What If Madagascar you don't have a police force you have a combined integrated law force uh, which gives a streamlined smooth criminal justice system with delegated charging authority. I digress. So here is the twirling arm of the law. This is a Malagasy Law Force Seahawk helicopter. The reason they use the Seahawk is because it's robust in maritime environments and of course Madagascar is an island. Um, they use it as well because I had loads left after building a kit bash of the Hobby Boss kits and Hasegawi kits to make special forces helicopters. So I actually had four Seahawks left with the majority of the ECM and the um, uh, suppression system uh, used. So I've been making lots of civilian-ish helicopters. Now, I'm not entirely sure um, who signed off on the 401 for the rocket pod, but anyway, it does carry some Hydra 70 millimeter laser guided rockets. Like I said, this is a pretty straightforward conversion of a Hobby Boss um, HH60. I've done it so the rotor blade detaches for easy transport. Um, and it carries a forward looking infrared sensor, which is a modification of a Hasegawi lantern pod. It's covered in missile alert warning systems and it's got chaff and flare dispensers because you never know what the bad guys might have. Um, a radar from a uh, Ravel uh, EC145 kit. Two crew figures um, just kit bashed from the spares box. And I think it's come out really nicely. It's finished in glossy sea blue from Valleyho and Tamiya yellow. The Valleyho yellow was an absolute disaster. Um, so I had to redo it. And it's got um, these hatches which open on the side so they can uh, use a GPMG or suitable um, uh, peaceful alternative. Um, this is Helicopter 17. They're grouped into regions as part of a national force and I really I really think it's come out nicely. It's got a yellow uh, blade. Now you'll notice on the search and rescue helicopters um, this yellow blade and it's the same on the law force helicopter and what that is is that when this is twirling round it gives a solid yellow disc so if you are observing it from above and you're watching the helicopter in uh, maybe by a drone or fixed wing asset you can uh, check for clearances as well um, also it, these helicopters will operate um, together um, in close proximity so say there's been a major incident like a train crash you'll have um, law force helicopters you'll have um, the buglers coming out to do rescues and um, you use that yellow disc so that you don't land on top of each other. You can check your blade clearances quite easily. Um, I learned that from the Wessexes, I think it was, um, and what they used to do in the Sea Kings. A um, couple of law force vehicles. We have a law force traffic BMW and a law force patrol car, which is a RAV4. Um, currently, there's only two people in jail in what if... Um, Malagasy land and that is a rivet counter who is exposed as an enemy agent and group captain group think who just ended up in jail for being stupid um, so yeah so um, prison population overcrowding isn't an issue in what if uh, Malagasy land um, but um, they seem to have got an uh, endless budget as well and a cracking helicopter here they can use the forward-looking infrared um, to find um, missing people um, uh, for traffic uh, assistance in pursuits. Um, lo lots of, you know, really good things there. It's fully equipped for night, uh, bad weather flying with that radar and forward-looking infrared. So very capable machine, not cheap, but when you've got lots of them left over, uh, why not? Um, it seems that uh, one in 70 second um, Malagasy doesn't have any budgetary issues which is quite uh, unique and good so they uh, have the best of the best and unfortunately the fire brigade are now asking for a helicopter as well so um, I'm gonna have to make a Malagasy 
fire brigade helicopter. But here we go. Here is the twirling arm of the law. Take care. Bye.